Over the past few years, I've managed to get pretty good at drawing, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my earliest pieces because it'll be funny. So let's just dive straight into it. So here we have a lot of portfolios and sketchbooks filled with lots and lots of drawings. Now I'm going to start off with this pink portfolio as it's filled with the oldest stuff. So it's gonna be the weirdest and the wackiest. So let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, look at this. So I'll just take it out of the portfolio. Now let's dive in with this horse drawing. Now this was actually a commission that I did for someone. Now obviously I didn't give this to the client because I wasn't actually too happy with it. So this was like a first attempt because the mane here just didn't look very hairy. So I then traced this sketch onto another piece of paper and then I did the shading on that one. Oh, right. So this one was actually a nightmare to do. I actually, this was one of about five attempts that I tried on this dog. Moving on, we've got some cool eye drawings. Oh, here we've got some sketches. I'm using like a two by two grid, which isn't great because ideally you want to be using an eight by eight. Now moving on to this ginormous piece. This is actually one of our horses and I wasn't too happy with it because the muzzle is slightly a bit too short and I think his eyes are a bit too big in terms of like proportions and stuff. So what I did is I did him again and I was much more happy with it because we've got a little character that I created. We've also got Iron Man. Now this was a fish that I was really proud of the head and then I started to get back and do the scales and then they went all a bit wonky because you can see here that these scales don't follow the curvature of um, the cylindrical shape of his form. Oh, and this grit here. This group was like the first time that I properly went, you know what, I'm gonna sit down for a very long period of time and work on one drawing. Now I can't remember the exact amount of time that this took, but it was a very long time. Now this piece here was a similar story to that earlier charcoal horse that I showed you. So it was a commission and I wasn't too happy here. So this was the first attempt. So I then traced the sketch onto another piece of paper and then I did the shading on that one. Just quickly, if you'd like to learn how to draw like me, I have a free drawing course linked down in the description. It covers everything from sketching to graphite pencils, to alcohol markers, to colored pencils, all completely for free. And that is link down in the description. And with that said, let's get back to the video. Here we have a poster sutures. Now I've got some like little school projects that I did, little alien drawing. And this one, this was kind of sad. I did this in lockdown and I spent lots of time doing this um, two faces of a Macbeth, so a skull and a thing. And I never actually handed this to the teacher. Um, so he never saw it. It's very sad. Here we have a dragon. Oh my goodness, we have found another one of these dogs. Oh, here we just got a blank piece of paper. Another blank piece of paper, another blank piece of paper. And now we have this. This is actually the sign that I used when I did like a little business thing at school. So I basically just sold ginger biscuits in terms of like, it was like a business project thing. And then my business was called Ginger Bickies because I was a bit more ginger back then. And I'm still kind of ginger now, but moving on. Now this is a Kylo Ren sketch that I tried to do. Now I didn't actually manage to finish it because I didn't use the grid method. And I think I frazzled my brain trying to get all his mask details in. Another blank piece of paper. Now this is a pretty cool cartoon guy. I practiced a bit with the airbrush and obviously tried to get some glowy effects going on as well. Here we've got a Marvel symbol, because why not? This was actually the first attempt at doing a gift for someone but I wasn't too happy with the fact that she was like angry and I felt that she kind of needs to be a bit more happy. Now this may look like just a blank piece of paper but it's actually the start of a predator drawing that I later finished on a separate piece of paper and I'll show you that very soon. And this here was like my first attempt at the sketch for a horse drawing that I actually entered into a competition. Now I was actually quite happy with this at the time but as time's gone on obviously as you look back on your older drawings they become a bit more cringe. Now this one's actually really quite interesting as I did it as a concept sketch for a mural and if I'm being honest I think that that would look pretty sick on a wall so I may still try it and we have a sketchbook let's have a look got some dragons more dragons dragons loads of dragon bits I think these are from like a book of how to draw dragons and stuff I've got another dragon a weird whatever that is I think that's from Halo if I'm being honest and I've got this I think I copied this from a book in my middle school art class and that's it for that sketchbook you'll move it to one side oh and here we've got a sketch of a dog that I did for like I was going to do it as a commission but I think we lost contact with the person who commissioned me to do it so I obviously didn't go ahead with it now this right here is actually quite special because it's the first drawing and I ever did prints of and these here are like the color tests just to see what the my xenomorph drawing would look like on prints another weird sketch that I never finished we have a capra sutures I remember being so proud of this because it's just like really dynamic angle now this right here is actually where I used that concept sketch for the mural a bit earlier on where I traced it onto this canvas and I started to add in some color and stuff but I never actually finished coloring in the dragon now I might actually do that because this is actually quite a cool pose and I think it would look really cool blown up onto a wall got a venom sketch that I never finished another blank piece of paper a tiger sketch that I never finished. So in here we actually have the real deal xenomorph prints that I showed you a bit earlier and I actually think I only sold two. Well not even that, I think I only sold one. We have another sketchbook. Let's take a look. We have some frogs. We have Bob. I have no idea what Bob is. Practice with perspective lines. A drawing of my sister. Very accurate. Got a dragon. We have another dragon that looks like the snaky thing that almost ate the Millennium Falcon. We have some doodles of me and my sisters. Very accurate again. And a load more character doodles. So that's pretty much it for that sketchbook. 
And now we have um, one of our other dogs, a blank piece of paper. Now this is actually the predator picture that I worked from to do the drawing that I'm about to show you later. And this right here is the picture that I just showed you of the dog drawing that I tried to do, but obviously it didn't go too well. Now this is actually an unfinished painting that I did of a dragon eye, and I'm quite happy with how vibrant the colors are, but obviously the blending of the colors is somewhat questionable. And I might actually reattempt something like this soon because that's actually quite a cool concept. So that was everything in the pink portfolio. So let's have a look at this black one. And again, just moving this out of the way. So here we have a leopard, and I'm not quite sure why I gave up on this because the eyes there are actually pretty decent. So here we have another example of where I did the sketch on one piece of paper and then traced it onto another. However, I just kind of gave up on this one because the picture that I was working from was just a bit rubbish. We've then got a very weird thing where I tried to come up with my own chibi. And if you don't know, chibis are basically like really cartoony versions of characters that I ended up doing a lot of before I first got into realism. Oh, and then here we have some of my absolute favorite chibis that I ever did. And I'll show you some more of those a bit later on, but this is one of Star-Lord. We've also got one of Ant-Man here as well. So here we have a Christmas card design that I came up with where I basically reused my Christmas card designs from the previous year. So I basically went around the outline with a white paint pen and then did a glow effect using pastel pencils. Now this is actually a handmade commission slip. So the idea behind this is let's say I've got quite a few commissions stacked up and then someone wants a commission done at a specific date and I can't quite do it. I could still give them one of these um, that they could then go and give to their friends. So they still have a gift to give to their friends and I could keep the commission. Now I haven't done a lot of commission work recently, but I'm definitely gonna be implementing these in the future because they are pretty cool. So this was actually another commission that I started. Now I did it portrait for some reason and it ended up not being very big like at all. So I actually redid it, but landscape, and that was the drawing that I gave to the client. Here we have another glowy tree concept for my Christmas card collection. And here we have another one. We've also got some weird little polar bear sketches. And we have a chameleon that I never actually finished. Some weird little alien inspired thing there. Cartoony portrait of myself for some reason. And this right here is a concept sketch for a commission. And it was this drawing that I'm going to show you in a second that really put me off drawing landscapes because I spent so long on it and it just looked dreadful. Like a piece of paper, yes. This one. I can't tell you how long this took and how bad it looks for the amount of time that I spent on it. And here we have the gridded up reference photos that I used to do these sketches for my Venom and Carnage drawing. And here's like a cool cartoony concept design that I came up with all of our horses. Also got a load of chemistry revision cards. Ugh. And here are these stencils that I used to go on top of my Venom and Carnage sketches whilst I was using the airbrush on them. Baby horse, upside downy horse, pony tune stuff. I think that was me trying to make an eye drawing video. Another eye. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. A really terrible airbrush drawing. Another terrible airbrush drawing. Drawing of a paintbrush, a better airbrush drawing. We have a drawing of a stapler. Scribbled out stapler, another scribbled out stapler. We've got some like geometric animals. And in here, I think I've got like a school project that I did for chemistry. Hang on. Indeed, we have organic synthesis. Yeah, that's that brings back distant nightmares. We're putting that away, throw away, Ugh, yuck. And I think this is actually my 9x8 painting. Yeah, that's that's quite recent. <laughs> so that's the portfolio is out of the way. So let's dive straight into the sketchbooks. So here we have a dragon. I actually did this by following along to a tutorial by Mark Crilly. We have a horse. We have the weirdest looking man that I have ever seen in my entire life. Like what is happening with his eyes? We have a cat, face parts, a dragon. And this was done from like a tutorial book. Do not know what was happening here. That is just what a jaw just like goes straight up. We have a horse, Triceratops. We have a dragon. Again, this was done from that dragon drawing book. Another dragon from that book. Now this was a dragon eye. I think this again was from a tutorial by Mark Crilly. That guy is a legend, a water dragon. And now we get onto the chibis. And these are from a channel called Cartooning Club How to Draw. And I basically did loads of these. So you got like Toothless, Ghost Rider, Deadpool, Predator, Iron Man. And I do not know what that is. Right, next book. Car tire. This is our cat that I did in Biro. It's a Biro drawing of a Discovery headlight. Some strawberries, very questionable flower. And here we've got some things where I basically just copied exactly what the artist did. I mean, I changed the color here, but for this Ferrari, obviously just copy this picture here. MG logo. This is the sketch for the Ford GT Le Mans that I did. Quick paintings, paintings. Ferrari's pretty cool. More car paintings, car paintings. And this is, this is the joy of doing GCSE art. You just have to paint the same thing over and over again. Right, next book. This book is all about layers in the landscape. I mean, it's a great start when your first page looks like that. What is this? More crappy landscape paintings. More crappy landscape paintings. More, uh, that's not too bad actually. Yeah, that's a bit crap. That is just dreadful. That is just not good. That's not too bad. 
I like the, the glowy colors here, but this is obviously I just copied someone else's work. Copied Liam Spencer. That's another rubbish landscape drawing. That was not too bad. Sketches, more little sketches, more crappy paintings. This was not too bad. I was really quite happy with this one, if I'm being honest, because I really like how the um, reflections of the lights in the water, I think that just looks really cool. And this one here is where I tried that like again, but using like pastels for some shading. And I think it just ruined it. It looks really dark and muddy. That tree is actually pretty cool, if I'm being honest. Next book. Now this final book is definitely my favorite as it's filled with some of my realistic pencil drawings. Just like this venom and when I did this it was like oh my goodness I mean I kept coming back to look at it just all the time I was just like I cannot believe I've created this it's just so cool also this Mandalorian this was actually I did this before the venom and yeah this is done with graphite pencils and this is just I really like this this is just crazy alien I actually redid this like a year later now these two were actually commissioned pieces that I did so you got the Deadpool here but this Optimus was where I was like really inspired by watching that time lapse by drawaholic that I basically did my own version from the exact same picture using like the exact same methods of like alcohol markers and colored pencils we've then got some quick sketches and an alcohol marker alien they've got an Iron Man helmet because why not and here we have the predator drawing that I was telling you about earlier and super happy with this one as well and here is that xenomorph that I was telling you about and this is actually a print so an a3 one because the real drawing was done on A2. Got a wasp. I got some weird little concept sketch because basically what I had to do is I couldn't just draw an alien for my um, final project. I needed to come up with like some sort of insecty aliens thing myself. And then these are some of like the more final things that I came up with. So just like insecty xenomorphs. That's pretty much it. So if you've made it this far into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you. And the whole point that I'm trying to get across here is the sheer number of drawings I've had to create in order to get where I am today. And all of these don't really even scratch the surface. There are still tons that I haven't shown you. Otherwise, this video would have just been like hours long. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in the next one, which should appear on the screen right here. Let's go click it. It's actually a pretty good video, you know, pretty good.